Hello you guys, welcome back. You know what time it is. It is time for another empties with these guys here. We're just gonna hop right in. Let's go. So the first product is a Japanese face wash and it is the BCL Cleansing Research Wash Cleansing R. Now this one is kind of like a counterpart to the green tube, which is really famous. And the whole range is about helping to break down the since dead skin cells and get a really deep clean cleanse in the pores they all include AHA that's kind of the thing this tube is 120 grams and it retails at 1000 yen I am just going off what is on the packaging it is going to depend on where you buy it how much the price is this is the rich moisture ver that's why I assume there's a little R they have a regular version with scrub a regular version without scrub and then they also have a medicated version which includes kind of acne fighting ingredients as I said they all do include some form of AHA it does depend on which one but this one does include AHA from apples it also includes mineral clay which draws out impurities ceramides hyaluronic acid honey and that to help moisturize and nourish the skin the texture of this face wash face wash quite thick I'd say compared to other face washes that I have it's kind of got a little bit of like a slimy kind of thickness to it and you can actually see like the little granules in it although there is no abrasiveness to the actual scrub this one does foam up pretty well you don't need a lot a little goes a long way but it is definitely one of those kind of extreme foaming face washes that japan kind of loves to produce i would definitely recommend foaming it up before use it actually does have quite a high ph when i tested it in my japanese cleansers ph video it had a ph of nine so it is definitely a little bit high i do think it's also because it is an aha cleanser there is definitely an added fragrance to it they call it an apple floral and i would say that is pretty accurate i can definitely smell the apple in it and apparently it can be used to remove makeup as well so if you do want to use it to remove makeup you can apply it directly onto wet skin although i did only use it as a second step cleanser so i did just foam it up and added water first things first it can feel a little bit on the stripping side i do think it's because it is an exfoliating cleanser the ph is quite high and it is quite foaming as well i wouldn't say that like my skin was like absolutely tight but it didn't leave my skin feeling kind of moisturized per se but i did not use this one every day since i was using other exfoliating products at the time so i kind of used it a few times a week there was a period where i used it every night for about a week or two just to see how it is and it did not irritate my skin um it didn't ever feel like over exfoliated or anything so if you are someone who doesn't use any other exfoliating products this may be a good way to incorporate exfoliating it is gentle enough to use every day but I probably wouldn't use it in conjunction with other exfoliating products so Logan actually used this more so than me just because I was testing out other products and he said he didn't feel a huge difference although I felt like his skin texture this seemed a little smoother he does have like a bit of acne scarring in his cheeks but I felt like overall it just was a smoother texture for me in the way I used it I did not find a huge difference but again I think it is a good wash for those people who want to incorporate some exfoliating product easily and not really think about it being an exfoliant it'll be a good wash for you especially if you do have oily combination or like breakout prone skin next I'll be talking about um, toner pads or exfoliating pads I guess it depends on what brand what they call it but first of all the Neogen Real Seeker pad so this one has 90 pads which totals to 150 mils its main ingredient is Sika or Centella Asiatica. It has five different types of extracts of Sika, which helps calm and soothe the skin. It also has ceramides that helps to reinforce the skin barrier, PHA, which is a really, really gentle exfoliant, and then hyaluronic acid to hydrate. So the Neogen is quite a big jar. It doesn't have like an extra lid or anything it doesn't come with tweezers it is literally just the jar itself the pads themselves i find are probably like the thinnest i have tried they are definitely quite thin and they're not like padded much or have much of a quilted kind of texture compared to other pads that i've used from other brands it doesn't have any artificial fragrance which is really nice they have added some fragrance using natural bergamot oil which i actually like the fragrance it's very light it's citrusy bergamot 
fragrance. So these ones are a mild toner pad that you can use every day. It's not like the exfoliating pads that you probably use only a couple times a week. For oilier skin, I would recommend just replacing it with your toner. And then if you do have drier skin, you can use this as like your first swipe instead of using toner and cotton pad and then you can layer like your second hydrating layer of toner if you would like. So the general feel I got from these products are that they are really good for mild everyday exfoliating so if you are not once again using any other exfoliating products it's a really nice product to use every day to get a little bit of exfoliating in very minimal amount um, but it also helps prep your skin for the rest of your skincare. So it was a very generous kind of amount if you look at the pad it is definitely bigger than a lot of other pads that I've used from other brands this is the Neogen pad and then as an example I'll put it next to the Cosrx one it is quite a bit bigger as you can tell so it's nice you can just use one pad you don't feel like you need to use another one 90 pads in it so if you use one every single day it'll still last you a month and a half and if you use them morning and night you can still get more than a month's use out of it which is really nice so the texture on the pads are really thin like super fine because of that and it's not quilted it like doesn't flap up fluff fluff up it doesn't fluff up when you wipe your skin and it is a very like strong dense pad compared to a lot of other ones that I have used. I must say there's not like an excessive amount of products. There isn't kind of any excess essence in the jar. I've been using it for a while so it's like essentially dried up but I wouldn't say there's like an abundance of essence. I will always follow up with a toner after using the pad just because I do have more dehydrated skin but I do think it would be a really good option for people who do have sensitive skin but have oilier or combination skin. I think it's probably my favorite kind of everyday pad and I wish I trialed it and used it like every single day. Kind of only used it when my skin was feeling like a little bit rough and I wanted a very gentle exfoliator or I would often use it after doing wash off mask which is a really good way to use them as well. Next is the Cosrx One Step Green Hero Calming Pad. I do believe they have repackaged this now. It looks a little bit more sleek. It doesn't have this guy on the top. So this one has 70 pads and is 135 mils. Again the main ingredient is sea cow Centella Asiatica. It also includes tea tree leaf extract which helps with sebum and pore care and then also has green tea, hyaluronic acid and panthenol. The container is essentially the same thing as the Neogen, just a smaller version and I will say the pads are definitely thicker and they are definitely more quilted. So they have that classic kind of circular bumpy texture compared to the Neogen. I feel like this is the most kind of basic or common texture on these kind of pads. Compared to Neogen it does have the tendency to get a little bit fluffed up but I will say these ones have quite a bit of essence so even though I'm down to my last two pads Pads, there's still enough essence that they are quite wet and soaked in the essence so that's definitely a good thing about them so again this one doesn't have artificial fragrance actually has bergamot oil in this one as well although it does definitely smell different and it has that kind of seeker smell I don't know how to explain it but I feel like all Centella seeker products have this smell and it smells more like that so again these are really good pads to use every day. They are gentle enough. And I did get the green one over the other ones since this one was better for sensitive skin. The other options were like a moisturizing one and then also the kind of acne prone skin one. So I thought this one's just like good for anyone or skin users, even sensitive. Apparently it does have a soothing and calming property and reading reviews, a lot of people did claim that. They they felt it as soon as they kind of used it. They could feel the soothing properties. Although since I don't have sensitive skin, I personally did not kind of get that instantly soothing feeling. And I would say this one doesn't have very strong exfoliating properties because it is good for sensitive skin. To be honest, I didn't really have a huge impression on this one. It was nice, but it wasn't like it made a difference to my skin. Maybe it is, again, something that I need to use every day to see a difference. So next are two products that I honestly love and I did empty them out recently. It is the I'm From Rice Toner and Mugwort Essence. I'm not going to talk about them in depth because I do have a full video reviewing I'm From products. I will link it in the iCard and you guys can check it out. But I honestly love both of these products, especially the rice toner. I really liked it while I was using it, but after I stopped using it, I realized how much 
I truly did like it and miss it in my life. I definitely need to grab myself another bottle, but if you do want to know a little bit more about these products, please go check out the video. <laughs> my favorite one. Lastly, I'll be talking about two moisturizers that honestly were incredibly similar to me. It is the Plant Face AC Clear Moisture Pure and Cream, and then also the Pure Heal Centella 70 Cream. So I'll talk about the Plant Face Lace. <laughs> so I'll talk the plant about the Plant Face one first. So this one comes in a 55 ml jar and it is marketed to be good for sensitive and acne prone skin. So it uses 76% of Centella Asiatica extract, also includes licorice and bark extract that relieves irritated skin, soybean ferment and herbal extracts that are antibacterial, and then niacinamide to even skin tone and adenosine which helps anti-aging and skin texture. So it comes in like a nice frosted glass jar and has I guess like an aluminium lid to it. It has a little the plant base imprinted into the lid which is kind of cute. There is close to no fragrance. They do include like lavender and other kind of plant oils but I believe they are not used to add fragrance. I might have like the slightest fragrance but it is very very light. It does claim to be free from harmful ingredients like parabens, oil, fragrance, isopropyl alcohol and it is also cruelty free which is really nice. So the texture of this cream is amazing for AM use for me. Again this is a product that I passed to Logan to use mainly just because it is more for his skin type. It does definitely absorb well without stickiness but it doesn't feel dry over time either but it doesn't leave your skin oily if you go what I mean. On the packaging it does say feel dry inside yet oily on the outside of the skin so that's the whole concept. Logan can tend to get like oily overnight but he said with this one he would wake up and his skin wouldn't feel oily but he also didn't feel dry as well so I do really think it's great for those people who kind of need a bit more hydration but still have oily or acne prone skin. Versus the Pure Hair Centella 70 cream so I thought it was very similar when applying it but actually the ingredients ingredients and everything is very similar as well. So this one comes in a 70 ml jar and is good for all skin types. So it's not really specific to acne prone or sensitive skin. It has 70% of Centella Asiatica extract. This was 76. It has the same ingredients as the plant-based niacinamide, adenosine, bark extract and soybean ferment. But it also does have green tea, aloe leaf water as the second ingredient and has jojoba oil. So I think this one is definitely more moisturizing. It has more moisturizing ingredients since it is more catering to all skin types. Again it comes in a glass jar with a plastic lid. Yeah slightly bigger jar than the plant-based one. So there is a definite fragrance to this one. It is not an artificial fragrance. It is probably the eucalyptus oil in it. Usually I don't like the smell of eucalyptus but this is okay. Like it is fairly strong when I smell it from the jar. I feel like I don't remember it being this strong when I was applying it but it Definitely has a bit of a fragrance. And the texture is very, very, very similar to this one. Although I think it absorbs more quickly and without a trace. I personally did like the Pure Heels one better. I think it just has more moisturizing ingredients and it does cater a little bit more to drier skin types. It also mixed really well with serums and oils and such and it was a really, really nice moisturizer for the AM. I again passed this one off to Logan because of the lightweight texture, but this one I actually kept reaching for more so than this one. Over Overall, they are incredibly similar from the texture, from the finish, from the ingredients. So I would just go by whichever one is more your skin type. I do know the plant base is definitely more accessible. More sites sell it, whereas the Pure Heels, I love a lot of their products, but they don't really have a global reseller and it is quite hard to get your hands on their products. I feel like if you want to try like a nice light gel weight, gel weight, gel lightweight moisturizer. I will say the um, plant base is a lot easier to get your hands on and if that sounds like something that will suit your skin type, sensitive, oily, acne prone, then I would definitely recommend checking this cream out. That is my empties for the last two months. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!